What's going on guys? So we are back here at Bishop RV Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. We're going to take a look at this beautiful DRV mobile suite. This is the 38 RSSA. It's a rear living room floor plan. A lot to like about this. Hang tight. I'll be right back. So they got two DRVs in right now. Let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 21,000 pounds. It has a cargo capacity of 3,540 pounds. Rides on 215.75 R17.5 inch tires. This is a relatively heavy fifth wheel, especially considering it is not a toy hauler. As you can see from the outside, it has full body paint. It is a beautiful, beautiful paint scheme as well. This is really nice. Let's first go over some of the things from the exterior that make the DRV a little bit different. So first of all, some of the things that are kind of standard amongst your higher end fifth wheels in general would be things like your frameless windows, even full body paint, having the dual awnings. I love the fact that the back awning comes off of the slide itself. And then you have this really long front awning has the upgraded front Moride rubber pin box. You can see it has the level up hydraulic landing gear. From the connection side, you can see it's got a hatch here which has two 40 pound propane tanks. So they're a little larger than what you might see on most fifth wheels. Also, because of the huge drop frame on here, you have a really large pass-through storage here which we'll open up now. All right, so we're gonna go through here and give you an idea of what to expect. You have a really cool touch screen system here that controls your auto leveling system. This massive pass-through storage, it's probably three feet tall. You can see that the frame structure on a DRV is different. It has a steel structure that completely surrounds this hatch area. A lot of fifth wheels have a front frame section that's all steel, but then this whole section here, including the aluminum you often see up top, is simply added to add support for the flooring. What you see here on a DRV is all structural. So even though it's not aluminum, this is actually designed to add structure to the frame of this fifth wheel versus the aluminum ones, which simply act as a flooring structure for the area above it. A huge advantage to DRV is what you're looking at here. Residential style water manifold system. This is designed to give you complete and isolated control over all of the water connections throughout the RV, which gives you the ability to shut off individual water connections in the event something leaks or it needs to be serviced or maintained. You can see that it has the water filter system in here as well. And you can see how they place a lot of the other systems, including the inverter, some of your plumbing connections, and some of your other serviceable parts back behind here. And you can open this slide from either side so you can service this section, whereas on a lot of fifth wheels, all of your serviceable parts are blocked by panels that you can't get access to. Very, very nice. You can also see it has the really thick and heavy baggage doors. And they're on pressurized shocks, so that helps right here is gonna be where you make all your connections. Has its own little hatch that covers it. You can see everything is very clean in here as well. They do a great job of laying out the controls in a very nice separate area from the storage, but at the same time a nice enclosed area. And the baggage door here is very, very heavy. I mean, it just has very high-end components that they use on DRVs. This specific unit does have the Truma AquaGo hot water heater. So this is an instant hot water heater. Stepping back a little bit, you can see the much thicker steel sections that are on the rack and pinion slide. So on a lot of fifth wheels, even with rack and pinion, these steel sections, these box sections are much lighter duty. And you can see where they have three of them on this slide, whereas most of your fifth wheels are gonna have two. They'll have one on each side. This one has three, one in the center as well. The frame section is the thing you want to look at. So the frame is two six inch boxed beams with a three inch boxed section below it. So two six inches plus a three inch section, 15 inch frame section. That is really crazy. Also, the way they attach the hydraulic auto leveling system is much more specific to DRV. They actually help design this system in conjunction with the DRV fifth wheels. 
Tires are a little dirty, but they are Goodyear, very high-end steel rated tires. And this unit also has fully independent suspension and automotive grade disc brakes. Something else that is very indicative of your higher end fifth wheels would be this hatchback here, which is your electric cord reel. So your 50 amp cable simply extends and retracts from this area right here, which is really nice. It's more of like a release mechanism to pull it out, but then to retract it in, you have the button right there. And again, it's in its own nice little cubby hole that is separate from the elements and away from your storage area, so you're not using your storage to house the large cable. On the back, you can see it has a receiver hitch, which is rated to tow. You can see it has a seven-way connector right there, so you can connect up your trailer brakes or whatever you're gonna be towing behind this, as well as your lighting. All LED lighting, full fiberglass back cap, as well as a camera already installed, and nice LED lighting in the back as well. Plus a full walk-on roof, of course. What's nice on this side is they give you extra storage here, as well as looking underneath, you can see your other slide out and you have a better view of the frame itself. Again, what separates a DRV from just about every other fifth wheel manufacturer on the market, even some of your highest end models are the fact that this has a really unique frame. That six inch on six inch on three inch section really makes it stand out and is very, very structural. You can also see under the slide rooms is actually a sheet of fiberglass. So you have a very low risk of water intrusion actually causing a floor to fail. Okay, let's go up the Moride Step Above Step System into this 38 RSSA. Now, I really like the tones in here. This isn't that real gaudy kind of golden oak tone that you see. A lot of people really don't care for that older style color. This has a much more neutral tone to it but it is really beautiful. Let's pan around so you get a full shot of what all this looks like. Just a very, very nice laid out fifth wheel. All of the cabinetry, all of the wood is residential grade. It is all hardwoods. Designed very, very nicely. A lot of convenience built into them as well with these pull out drawers. And you feel the quality with the cabinets. They don't feel hollow. They don't feel cheap at all. If you look at the solid surface countertops plus the real glass tile and backsplash. Full size Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Check out this island. This island has to be a good six feet long, maybe even a little longer than that, plus all this countertop space. And what they actually use above the stove is this solid surface countertop section. And you can see very residential feeling stove. Coming back, 50 inch TV, nice cabinetry all the way around. Check out the crown molding. This has whisper quiet air conditioning systems, of course. Actually has three of them. Very nice high end seating. This is gonna fold out into an almost king size bed. You have the end tables on the end here. Day night roller shades, but check out the window valances. All solid wood, plus trimmed off very nicely. They put lighting everywhere in these as well. And it's accented in a very tasteful way. It doesn't come across gaudy at all. The fireplace usually houses kind of a unique secret. So they put a drawer behind the fireplace area that you can hide whatever you might need to hide, but it's really cool use of space. Lots of cabinets, actually a ton of cabinets, lots of countertop space. Everything in here is really nice and high end, including the drawers. All soft closing drawers or slow closing drawers. That's very cool. This unit comes with a dishwasher as well. Dual basin sink. All of your fixtures are residential grade fixtures. They're not that cheap plastic. Again, check out all the drawers, all the cabinets, everywhere. Dinette assembly is really nice. And what's cool is that this table assembly can actually pull out and you can put two additional chairs here if you have more people that are gonna be staying with you or eating with you. Put this nice little countertop area here. I mean, just check out all the cabinets in this thing. 
everywhere you look there's cabinets and I love that they house all the controls behind this cabinet door. You can see it has power management system, your air conditioning system, and this is a three zone air conditioning system plus all your slide controls, lighting and everything else. Going up, I love how they finish off the walls with nice wall paneling instead of just using just a plain backer board. Even on this wall, you can see how it has a nice finish to it. Plus, they frame out the windows really nice and more nice balances. Going into the bathroom area, one-piece shower assembly. Lots of space in here. And they put the washer and dryer here in the bathroom. So if you equip this with a washer and dryer setup, you can place it right here in the restroom area. More storage up here. If you don't put a washer and dryer in here, of course, you can use that for a lot of extra storage. Very nice vanity area. Extra drawers down there. Lots of room in here. There's at least a solid three and a half feet from the front of the toilet to the cabinetry. So you got a lot of room inside of this bathroom. Nice pocket style door here. Very heavy feeling as well. This doesn't feel lightweight at all. Coming back into the master bedroom. King size bed. Looks like you have about a foot on this side. I love the fact that they give you these little end counters that aren't intruding over the bed. Nice cabinetry up here. Another whisper quiet air conditioning system overhead. Lots of front closet room area, including a safe, which is really nice, and some drawers in there. Stepping back here, you have this area right here, which is actually on a slide. It's on a very, very short slide, so it doesn't go out very far. But because it's on a slide, it gives you a tremendous amount of room here between the end of the bed and the dresser, and a ton of drawers. You have eight drawers plus one here, which is really nice. They just position everything very thoughtfully. DRVs are generally intended for full-timers, and because you're gonna be full-timing in this, and most all of their buyers tend to be full-time users, they really know how to set one of these up from an ergonomics perspective to make it match what most people are looking for when they step up to a DRV. So this unit, brand new, had an MSRP of $164,961. Some of the features that they included on here were the Wi-Fi range extender, the built-in front wardrobe safe, hazelnut folding chairs, heat pump generator, surge protector with voltage protection, power cord reel, more ride step above, the dinette patio awning with weather shield, and an audible wireless backup camera system. Anyways guys, I'd love to know what you think of this. If you're looking for a full-time unit, DRV is just about as high-end as you can get. There are a few boutique brands that are out there that make some very nice customized full-time living fifth wheels, but in terms of frame structure, in terms of what they do to make these units high quality, DRV really does kind of set the bar for the industry. And a lot of people try to emulate what they do, which really speaks to just the quality and craftsmanship behind a DRV. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.